What's up people, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you're watching the video at, this is your host Ganesh and you're watching my channel Beardo on Enfield. So right now I am at uh, Bijapur uh, which is known as uh, Vijaypura nowadays and uh, the place is known as Malikaya Maidan and there are grand cannons over here. So that's what we are going to explore today and there are a few more places that I am going to visit. So, stay tuned. Uh, today again, I have a niece with me. <laughs> hey, Bubu. Hmm. Here it is, uh, one of those cannons. So it was written on the board that the name of the place is Malik Maidan, but then uh, this uh, cannon, grand cannon over here, is uh, known as Opali Buruj. There is nothing else uh, to explore over here. Uh, Opali Buruj, Opali Cannon is the only one uh, cannon placed over here at this place, uh, Malik Maidan. So, we'll see you at the next spot in a second. Now this is the main struggle, <laughs> going up. It's actually not. Yes, Marak, we have all of our property. This is our country's glory. We have to keep it. It's our duty. So, whenever you are visiting any old historical heritage, make sure you do not spoil it and do not make it messy. Football wala messy nia. What are you doing? Kani dila. Kani dila. Adeni, just do the gist. Mama, me pay chi. Is bote jaage. Bote. Moti chidi na, moti moti chidi na. Bote moti chidi. Chidi me. So this was uh, Heather Buruj. So just to uh, tell you in short, it was made in 1583 by Adil Shah. Buruj is not canon. Buruj means this uh, grand place, which you can see, this one. This is Buruj. And on top of this, uh, there are two cannons, which are this. One is this and one is that. So this, there are two cannons, which are of uh, 30 feet and 8 inches, and one is of 19 feet. 
which were kept for uh, security purposes. So that's it. You can see at uh, this place, and uh, now we are heading towards another locations, which I show in uh, in the in that uh, booklet. So first part of uh, Bijapur uh, diaries or vlog, you can say. Um, I was on bike, and uh, today this is the second part of this vlog uh, at Bijapur and uh, Vijaypur or Bijapur, and uh, I am in. Uh, I'm roaming in our auto. The thing is that the bike belongs to uh, one of my friend who is uh, from uh, the club which I ride for RID. His name was Harish, and uh, he had some work today, so I was not able to get this bike. And that's the reason why I'm uh, exploring Bijapur in an auto. So here we are at uh, Ali Rosa, which is also known as uh, Bara Kaman. So just to uh, brief you about this place, this place was built in 1672, and uh, this is a samadhi. Samadhi means uh, how to explain that? You can uh, I'll mention it somewhere down on the screen. And samadhi means basically someone's uh, uh, what do we call the place where somebody was uh, you know uh, buried at. So I was saying that uh, Queen and eleven other ladies uh, have their uh, samadhis over here. are the graves I was talking about uh, one for the queen and uh, 11 extra for the 11 other uh, ladies so there are in total uh, 12 graves out of which one uh, belongs to queen and uh, 11 for the other ladies who used to be uh, with the queen I believe there is nothing mentioned over here on the poster or uh, sign board otherwise I would have came to know more about it so it was written that uh, there is a green color stone exactly I don't know where it is but I can see just this type of stones placed on the uh, graves. And this is the main one, I guess. Uh, this one uh, belongs to the queen. I'm not sure about it, but it looks like that only. So few people are saying that uh, here a time a Raja hua karta tha who actually started building this uh, Bara Kaman and uh, what exactly happened is uh, he was supposed to make uh, 12 vertical and 12 horizontal commands okay the commands means the pillars so 12, uh, 12 horizontals the way this looks like and uh, 12 horizontal 12 vertical and uh, it was supposed to be in such a way that uh, the shadow of those pillars, this this pillars would have been fall upon uh, gold gumbaj. Gold gumbaj. I don't know. At, uh, I don't know which uh, direction it is at. But then it was supposed to. Uh, the, the shadow of these pillars was supposed to fall on gold gumbaj. That was his plan. And he was killed uh, overnight before this uh, plan was executed. And after that, uh, his queen and her twelve. Uh, Ladies, I mean like the 12, uh, the, sorry, not 12, the 11, the queen and uh, 12 servants, 12 ladies, uh, female servants of that queen were uh, buried over here at this place. So this is the story of uh, Bara Kaman. So right now we are at uh, Jumma Masjid. If you want to read the uh, description about this place, you can uh, take a screenshot of this and you can read it out. That's the place. So this is a mosque uh, known as uh, Juma Masjid. So this is the place uh, known as uh, Juma Masjid. If you want to read, uh, you can uh, take a screenshot and you can read it out. I will also. Uh, Translate this for you in English. So 
let's have a quick uh, walk around and see how this place is So there was nothing else uh, to explore at this place, at this uh, mosque uh, and this is uh, Jamma Masjid. It's beautiful. Historical head obviously beautiful. Hoga. Now next destination would be, I'll show you to you in a while. So uh, this will be the last location for the day and I'll be ending this vlog after uh, this location. Here we are at Ibrahim Rosa. You will also need to buy a pass to get your belongings like uh, electronics and camera items inside. they have written about uh, Ibrahim Rosa is that this was made in 1626 and the second Ibrahim Adil Shah uh, his uh, tomb is over here and uh, he has uh, made this place in uh, remembering of in the memory of uh, Queen Taj Sultan Sultana sorry Queen uh, Taj Sultana and engineer Malik Sandal has uh, made this uh, tomb and the best thing and amazing part of uh, this place is that if you will see uh, closely I'll show it to you in a while uh, the holy book of Quran is uh, completely carved on this place let me show it to you close. I won't be able to show the entire thing, but then if we can uh, figure it out. So, uh, all this thing uh, carved on the walls of this tomb is uh, from the Holy Book of Quran. I don't know what material, what kind of wood is used in uh, making of this windows, but then they are really amazing. I'm scared of uh, going at such places but then uh, I'll just go and have a sneak peek inside. Okay. So, this is all the hai. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Due to lack of time, I won't be explore this place more. But then, uh, this place over here, where I'm standing right now, is a tomb, and uh, that place over there in front of me is the uh, mosque where people go and uh, read uh, namaz. I think it's uh, about to start rain, and I am not carrying any kind of shelter along with me, so I have to be quick and uh, try to reach my auto as soon as possible. You can see there are so one, two, three, 
four, I believe, four more tombs over there. I mean, uh, four more uh, samadhis over there. I was about to uh, leave from this place, but then uh, the moment I saw the carvings made on this mosque, I really loved it and uh, thought to show it to you guys as well. So that's that is uh, all about uh, this place, Ibrahim Rosa. Uh, that's the tomb over there, and this is the mosque behind me. So I think I will be uh, ending this vlog over here if I get a chance to uh, explore more. Because uh, I don't know, the time right now is 5:41 uh, in the evening, and if I get a chance to explore any other place then I'll definitely show it to you and continue the vlog thank you that guy just now he uh, subscribed to my channel so uh, I was saying if I get a chance to explore more which I doubt because it's already 5.41 in the evening and uh, most of the old heritage uh, gets closed during this time so uh, I think I'll be ending the vlog now and if you are uh, new to the channel make sure to subscribe it and if you like this video then hit that like button thank you so much for watching ride safe and take care